I'm Neil Packenham Walsh, and I am the coordinator of Healthcare Information for All, and I'm also currently the chair of the D Groups Foundation. Uh, I'm based in the UK near Oxford, and uh, over the next few minutes, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about Healthcare Information for All and why D Groups is so important to us. Uh, you'll see here I've, I'm calling Healthcare Information for All a global community of purpose. And we define this as a virtual community of practice where everyone is working together towards a common goal. And I think that D-Groups uniquely has the functionality and the enabling environment to make this possible. The, the issue that we are trying to solve with D-Groups, um, and particularly with the, the HIFA campaign, is the pervasive problem that people are dying for lack of knowledge. I'll just describe this very briefly to say why we, this is why we exist. Because in the next five minutes while I'm talking, there will be another 50 five zero children will die because they're not given simple life-saving interventions like antibiotics for pneumonia or sugar salt solution for acute diarrhea. Most of these deaths are in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, and there are an unknown number of premature deaths in adults also, which relates again to failure to provide life-saving treatments. Now tragically, these treatments are actually often locally available but they're simply not provided due to lack of access to basic healthcare knowledge and information. So HIFA is aiming all of us towards a future where every person will have access to the healthcare information they need to protect their own health and the health of others. The, when we launched HIFA in 2006, uh, we had a letter of support from the World Health Organization that said healthcare information for all is an ambitious goal, but it can be achieved if all stakeholders work together. And I think that D-Groups is the best approach that I know of to bring stakeholders together around a complex development or health challenge. And we've been using it successfully for more than 10 years. So we launched in 2006 in Mombasa <clears throat> with a small grant from the British Medical Journal. We use an approach to moderation called reader-focused moderation, and I put a message in the chat box because someone was asking about moderation techniques. So reader-focused moderation is one technique that we use, and it focuses on meeting the needs of readers of messages. So every message that goes out on HIFA should be relevant and understandable. And if there are any queries, then the moderator deals with the author before the message is posted. So also every message includes the author's profile underneath it. So you always know when and where he or she is coming from. Our approach was, it has been firstly to agree and define the goal. And I think this is important to, if you have a community of purpose, then you need to get a degree of set consensus about what the purpose of the community is all about. And then ever since then, it's, it's exploring the many aspects of how to improve availability and use of healthcare information. And indeed, many other related aspects of improving quality of care, uh, achieving the Sustainable Development Goal 3, achieving universal health coverage, and so on. And in, in order to do this, to build a critical mass so that we can advocate for um, better financial and political support for health information provision and use. So the result is that we now have, in fact, we've just topped more than 18,000 members now. Um, we get about six or seven new members joining every day. The 
chart on the right hand side is the growth chart so you can see that we've we're we're um, expanding rapidly and without at the moment any slow up in the growth we now have five d groups and you can see the logos of the d groups so we've got hifa chifa which are both in english then we have hifa in portuguese hifa in french and then we have one country uh, level hifa hifa zambia we ha have 300 supporting organizations that have um, officially declared their support for the HIFA vision. Uh, we are funded by 40 different organizations and we're ru currently running 12 projects, including, for example, uh, looking at the information needs of community health workers, the information needs of citizens, the information needs of policymakers, and then health specific. Um, projects such as family planning with support from k for health of the Johns Hopkins University. Our main strategic partner is the World Health Organization and we have uh, four staff of the World Health Organization on our steering group and our main funding partner is the British Medical Association. This is a slide just to show all of the organizations that are currently supporting HIFA financially in 2018 and uh, I draw your attention to the number 50k at the top hand right that is the total amount that we have uh, raised for our work this this year so in other words you can achieve a, an awful lot with a very small amount of money um, we had an external evaluation a major external evaluation done in 2011 which concluded that HIFA achieves an extraordinary level of activity on minimal resources from which many people around the world benefit. And I emphasize that none of this would have been possible without D-groups. Finally, why would we recommend D-groups to others? Firstly, it simply works. Uh, the community cloud, which is the software that dgroups runs on, works better than any other tool for communities of practice. Secondly, as Saskia said, it's a partnership of United Nations agencies, bilateral agencies and NGOs, and we are all committed to international development, human rights and social justice. I would add that essentially Dgroup's 300,000 users are primarily driven by wanting to create a better world. And this is really in stark contrast to the social media giants like Facebook or Google. So in conclusion, we are um, grateful for the community cloud software and for the enabling environment of dgroups. And if I might say a word in my role as chair of dgroups, we are keen to expand the partnership and we look forward to welcoming new partners. Thanks.